talking about the golden lion tamarind and how its endangerment is affecting everyone. We will also give you information on its environment, food, population, biotic and abiotic factors, and its connection to the food web. The golden lion tamarind lives in South America, Africa, Australia, Asia, and Central America. To be more specific, they live in tropical rainforests and in tree gaps and canopies. Temperatures are around 80 degrees Fahrenheit with lots of rain. It's extremely humid and rarely drops under 60 degrees Fahrenheit or raises above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. There are many animals in the golden lion tamarind's habitat. Some animals are rhinos, gibbons, birds, insects, alligators, leopards, deers, monkeys, wild pigs, goats, frogs, and lizards. There are also a wide variety of plants. Some of the trees are some of the tallest in the world. One of the plants found there, clinky pine of New Guinea, is almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Did you know plants that grow on other plants are called epiphytes? The specific habitat of the golden lion tamarind is dense forests with a closed canopy around them. With, extremely humid, with an extremely humid climate. Also, the golden lion tamarind lives in tree holes in the forest for shelter. People used to capture and sell them as pets. They were also exploited in zoos and used in laboratories. The trees they live in were cut down and used for lumber by people. For a while now, the number of golden lion tamarinds have been decreasing. In the 1960s, there were only around 200 left. Now, in 2019, the numbers have doubled and there are 400 left. At first, you may think that 400 is a big number, but in the world of animal population, it is pretty small. The golden lion tamarind is an omnivore. It eats spiders, snails, small lizards, eggs, small birds, fruit, and vegetables. The golden lion tamarind is prey for owls, ocelots, furta dogs, and humans from poaching. The golden lion tamarind's connection to the food web is that they are secondary and primary consumers. In the 1960s, only 200 were left. Bugs would overpopulate and there would be no food for larger predators. In 1975, only 122 were left. They control the population of bugs. Without them, there would be no animal to make sure bugs don't overpopulate. Also, their predators would have a, a shortage on food which may threaten the lives of their predator. It is not as fertile and will not support life well. Also, the lack of trees, um, with the lack of trees, less air can be recycled. People all over have been hunting and capturing golden lion tamarinds and selling them to other people as pets. This is not right. These monkeys are wild animals, not house pets. Support the cause to stop hunting these monkeys. People have also been tearing down trees in their habitats. Without the rainforest, where would they live? And here's our citation page. Thanks for watching.